Last lesson, what we talked about with binomial is we talked about all of the different combinations of something happening when there was a fixed probability, a fixed number of trials, uh, the trials, the events were independent, and what's the last thing? Same probability every time. Same probability every time. Fixed number of, fixed number of trials, independent, and and two and two outcomes. Yeah, two outcomes. Good. Okay, so we're now interested actually to find out the probability of a range of things happening because it's very rare actually in real life that we're interested in a very specific range of so a specific value when something is happening in a probability. We might be more interested to find out what would be uh, what would be the outcome if I rolled a dice or I, I flipped a coin and I got more than this number of tails in the coin, or more than this or less than this? So cumulative means a build-up of all of those different probabilities that we have together here. Um, so for a binomial distribution, it's really easy to find out a cumulative range if the range is small. So if you were going to be asked to find out the probability that when you flipped a coin you got one or less tails when it was being done a certain number of times, that would be really easy because you could just work out the probability if you got no tails and the probability if you got one tail. But it would actually be more computationally expensive if we wanted to say the probability of x being less than or equal to 6. And when I mean, say computationally expensive, I don't literally mean expensive. I just mean the amount of like, energy that you would have to put in to, to solving that problem would be pretty demanding and a bit of a waste. So if what does this actually mean here? Can we just remind me of what this means? Good. X is distributed binomially with 10 trials and a probability of success of the trial is 0.3. Find the probability that X happens less than or equal to six times. Now let's just pause for a second before we even put this in the calculator. This is saying if you did something 10 times and the probability of it happening was 0.3, if you went all the way back to year 10, year 11, how many times would you expect this thing to happen? Three times, yeah, you're doing it 10 times and the chance of it happening is 0 0.3. So you'd expect it, expect it to happen three times. So we're expecting this value, the, the probability that it will happen six, five, four, three, two, one, or not at all times, we're expecting that to be what kind of probability? A big probability, a small probability? Small. Big. Because we've just said we would expect it to happen three times. So if we're going to say, what's the chances that it's going to happen less than six times? I think that's probably pretty likely that it's going to happen less than six times. However, there are obviously going to be some, there's a small chance that it could happen seven times, eight times, nine times, or ten times. It would be very, very rare for it to happen ten times, because that would be 0 0.3 to the power of ten. It would be very, very rare for this event that only happens 30% of the time to happen ten times in a row. So we're predicting that this probability should be pretty big, okay? Now, I hope you all know how to find this on your calculators, um, but if you don't know how to find it on your calculators, I've got it on my graphics one, and this is hopefully going to remind us of how we can do this. So you go to statistics on the graphics. Let's just focus this in a bit better. And then you go to distribution binomial. And we're now going to go to the CD, the one that says BPD is what we looked at at the end of last lesson, which is just the probability. It tells you when x is equal to something. The cumulative distribution is the one that allows you to put a range of values in that you have. Okay. Now, for this cumulative distribution, you keep it as variable and you type in all the different things that you want. So this one, it wanted us to be less than 6, right? So you're going to say it's everything between 0 and 6. The calculator thinks everything is um, the less than or equal to symbols. The number of trials that we've got here was 10, and the probability was 0 0.3, and so we're expecting a large answer. 98% of the time, 99% of the time, you're going to get less than 6 if you did that trial 10 times, which is what we said, because we said we'd expect there to be 3. So the chances of it being less than six is pretty solid. Okay, that's the kind of thing that's going to be happening there. Does everyone know how to do that on the other class with calculators as well? Okay, I'm going to show you something in a moment, and I'm going to give you these um, statistical tables because these are going to be quite useful later on, and they're the same thing as what you have in your calculator. Okay, so here 
there's a lot of different information, but now seems like the right time for me to introduce this. Running along the top, you've got the different probabilities that are available to you for a probability distribution that's binomial. And then running along the side, you've got all of the different options of the number of trials that are actually happening here. And later on in today's lesson, these tables, I think you'll find them better to use than using the calculator. So I'll give you a copy of these later. But the one we're looking at is a number of trials is 10. And I'm going to have to pull this camera out a bit so we can see the whole page for a second. Uh, the number of trials is 10. And we said the probability was, was it 0 0.3? OK, so 0 0.3 is this column that I've got here. And as I come down this column for 10, it's a bit difficult to see. But when n is 6, you get 0 0.9894. It's pretty difficult for you to see this on the board at the moment. But in a, in a second, I'll give you these tables. Obviously, you can grab that from your calculator. But I'm wanting to show you this with the tables, because for finding critical values later, it is going to be much, much easier to do. OK, so let's go back to the slide that we've got here. So I didn't even remember what that was. Was it 0 0.9894? 0 0.9894. Now, I know your calculator gives you loads and loads and loads and loads of values. Four decimal places is fine, because some people will be using the tables. Some people will be using the calculators. So the examiner is happy to see things to four decimal places, which is what the, the table gives you. The table is all rounded to four decimal places. OK, so we now want to think about how we can come up with some of these different expressions that we've got here. Because we might not just be interested in probabilities of things being less than or equal to something. Well, this one's dead simple, right? It's just x is being less than or equal to 7. And that, obviously, I could find it in the table if I wanted to. In fact, I might just got, start getting you guys to just pass these around, if you wouldn't mind just taking one and then passing them on. So I could just look this up in the table, or equally, I could go to my calculator and change the value. So I want you all to do this on your calculators and just make sure you can tell me what it is for x is less than or equal to 7. So you can either use the tables or you can use your calculator. 0 0.41, 0 0.4159, OK? Now let's just see, does that make sense, right? The binomial distribution, we're doing this 20 times, and the probability of it happening is 0 0.4. So we would expect it to happen how many times? Five times. Yeah, we expect it to happen five times. So the probability that it's happening, is that right? No, it wouldn't be happening. 20 times 0 0.4 isn't five. Eight. It's eight times. So we would expect it to happen eight times. So the chances of it happening seven or less times is probably going to be quite close to that probability that we've got there. It probably makes sense that it's going to be a little bit less than half, because we would expect it to happen eight times if it was how we would think of it from GCSE. This question's a bit different, though. It says the probability that x is less than 6. Now, this is a strict inequality that says that it has to be less than 6. So what does this actually mean, Mizukir? Uh, it's equal to less than 5. Good. It actually means the probability that x is less than or equal to 5. So you need to be skilled at translating statements like this into statements like this so you can then put them into your calculator or read them from the table. So that one is going to be, well, is this going to be smaller than this number or bigger? It's smaller because we're restricting the size of the things that we've got. And I believe you get 0 0.1256, OK? Now, this is, um, this is now saying we're going to the other end of the, the extremes here. We're now saying we want x to be bigger than or equal to 15. Now, I like to think of this as a list. I'm saying I've got, it could be 15, 16, 17, et cetera. It could go to all of those numbers. So I've got the whole list here, but I've removed some of them. Which are the ones that I've removed? 14 and less. Good. So it's the one I have, the whole list, which is 1, the probability of 1. And I'm taking away the list, which is less than or equal to 14, OK? Because I've removed everything 
up to the 14 section of it. So it's 1 minus the probability of x minus it's less than or equal to 14. However, your graphics calculators can do this straight away. You can actually just put on your graphics calculators if you have them. The lower boundary is 15 and the upper boundary is 20. And you come up with 0 0.0016. Okay. Can you give it in standard form? No, don't give it in standard form. You need to get used to putting that in standard form. My quick shortcut for this, the calculator gives you 1.6115 E minus 0, 0.3. The shortcut for that is the minus 0, 0.3, you're going to have one, two, three zeros, including the one before the decimal point. Okay, that's the shortcut method of putting it back in, uh, in that, that standard form. Now, if you don't have the graphics calculator, you have to find out what this is and then do one minus this. So does anyone have one of those calculators that I could just borrow just for a second? Could I borrow this one? OK, so let's just quickly put it on the camera for a second. So we go back to the cumulative distribution. I want you to come in a bit closer on this. And this time we're going to do, it's the cumulative distribution, so it'll be less than or equal to 14, which you can see there. And when you press equals, again, you can see you've got the number of trials and the probability. You press equals and it gives you this probability here. Now you can either do one minus that probability in your head, or, which you can do really, really easily, because if you want to do one minus this, they, they all have to add up to zeros, apart from the last one, which needs to add up to uh, zeros. They all have to, add, have to add up to nine here, 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 and then the last one needs to add up to 10. So it would be 0, 0, 1, 7. These add up to 9, and then the last one adds up to 10. That's how you can do really quick subtracting. You, could, you don't even have to store it. Okay, So if you don't want to store it, you can just go menu 1 to go back to the computation. You can just notice the answer that they've stored in the calculator is automatically the one that you've just generated from doing that. So to save you some time, you can just type 1 minus answer, and it gives you the same one that we've just generated in the table. So you don't need to store that. It automatically gets put in your calculator if you have this version of the calculator. I would prefer you not to put it in standard form. So this last one that we've got here, we want the probability that x is in between 8 <laughs> and 5, but it's allowed to be equal to 8. Now, I would generally recommend writing this out as, OK, well, the things that x is allowed to be, it can't be 5, so it's allowed to be 6, it's allowed to be 7, it's allowed to be 8, right? So it looks like the thing that I'm talking about is the probability that x is less than or equal to 8. That would give me 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, but I've removed something. The ones that I've removed is that x is less than or equal to? Good, 5. Because I haven't got the 5 there. So I've removed the 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, which is this, the 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Now, you can either do this. The graphics one allows you to change those different values that you've got. Or if you use the other calculator, you can just put them in separately and then do the subtraction afterwards. So the graphics one is very good. It allows us to do between 8 and 5. But you wouldn't type between 8 and 5. You'd have to do it between 6 and 8. So you'd do 6 and 8. Um, but the probability that it's less than or equal to 8, I'll do it the, the long way that you'd do on your calculators, you get 0 0.5956 minus the probability that x is less than or equal to 5, 0 0.1256. And when you subtract these together, you get 0 0.4700 or 46999975, OK? So it depends on what calculator you have about how you're going to try and do these things. This is one of the advantages of having the graphics calculator, is you can just put these things in straight away. Do you have a question, Sadia? No? So all I want you to do for these questions that you've got down here is I want you to write the probability statements out that you would have. So for example, this first one, that the probability that x is less than 5 is the same as the probability that x is less than or equal to 4. You don't actually have to work that out, first of all. The first job I want you to do is go through each of these statements 
and write them in terms of probabilities that have less than or equal to notation. And then if you finish that, you can actually work out those probabilities <laughs> as well. Oh yeah, you wouldn't be able to do it because you don't have the values. So yeah, just actually write out the statements at this stage. <laughs>